the past five years, I have taken a group of Stanford sophomores to the Little Bighorn battlefield. Each student has researched two individuals. As we walk the battlefield, they adopt the identity of that individual. General Custer will stand up and explain why he decided to divide his troops. A Minikanju warrior will explain why the village wasn't prepared for the battle. And to actually do some primary research about what it was like for the individuals there exposes students to a different form of reality and something that's much closer to the historical truth than simply reading a book. The Battle of the Little Bighorn, also known as Custer's Last Stand, is it, it's iconic and it has become legend, it's become mythic, and the story has been embraced as truth. What's important in the dialogue is to actually create contested space so that all perspectives can be shared and that that space is both provocative and affirming for all people. So something very rewarding in this process was creating my own class about the exhibit. We looked at the Battle of the Little Big Horn through the perspective of the performing arts, history, anthropology, archaeology, the military record, an art historical perspective, a linguistic perspective. Interdisciplinary learning really takes into account all the different perspectives and voices that are so necessary when you create an exhibit about someone's voice. Because if we can't hear all voices, then we can't hear one voice. To me, the most haunting picture in the show is the one of the horses. Each horse is bleeding from a wound and the blood falls down to indicate the flow of gravity, but all the horses seem to be floating, almost lifted from the page. The eloquent simplicity of the lines, but also just the eloquence of repetition sort of holds your attention. The same forms shown over and over again with a mounting emotional impact. The collaborative process is a critical aspect of what we do here at the Cantor. We really wanted to make sure that our approach to these drawings really reflected different ways of thinking about art. And there's these kind of fabulous intersections between these different ways of thinking about these works that really highlight that there's an important relationship between the kind of art historical element, but also language, and also document, also history. Seeing these drawings by Red Horse helps us understand the face of battle at the Little Bighorn in ways that I think mere words can't truly express. Every time I look at these drawings, I see something new. For Stanford to actually embrace this through a native lens, we're recrafting the narrative. That's cutting edge, that's innovative, that's groundbreaking, that's exciting.